What's up, YouTube? Jake Young from Jake Young Music here. Today, we are going to talk about the Temple Audio Duo 24. So, recently, um, I was in need of a pedal board. I had a couple of pedal trains, great pedal boards. This video is not to downplay a pedal train because they are amazing. Um, I was actually just perusing Facebook. Um, YouTube, any kind of other social media, and I kept seeing Temple Audio pop up. So I figured I'd check them out and see what they're all about. So right off the bat, I love the design of the pedal board. It looks very, very nice. Um, very clean, no issues with, um, you know, the hardware they're using. It's very robust. Um, the other thing that I loved is anybody that has pets and has a pedal board knows that that velcro is just going to get super hairy even if you sweep your floors every day it's going to happen you're going to have little bits of fuzz pet hair uh, possibly your own hair you know obviously i don't have that problem but we're not going to talk about how i'm follically challenged um so i love the design with no velcro but then i was kind of confused as to like well how am i going to attach my pedals and then i started looking at these locking plates right here now these locking plates come in three different sizes. So this one is the large. This wouldn't be good for, um, for instance, like maybe like a Strymon, you know, one of those really, really big uh, pedals, um, any kind of like the DL4 size pedals or something like that. These are going to work great. They also have a medium. The mediums are great for any pedal that is roughly the size of like an 808 Tube Screamer, okay? Um, I use a lot of TC Electronics stuff. These are great on all my TC Electronics. And the last size they have is a small. Okay, so this small is, it's really small, okay? So, with that being said, they are great for any kind of your mini pedals. I have a uh, Polytune 2 Mini. I have two of these on there right now. The reason why I have two, I just like a little bit more stability, but one would work just fine on any of those miniature pedals, okay? Um, the other thing that I love about this design is the sides. We have module systems, okay? So this one I have right here has the back plate on it. If I want to have another one of these four-way patch modules, I could have it on the same side, okay? Right now, the way I'm running it, which I might change it to have everything come out on this side of the board. So I've got my IEC power adapter, which if we look on the bottom... My power cable or my power supply I can attach my power supply right down here in the bottom hook the power in and I'm good everything can be run off the bottom and I can route all my cables through the bottom but what I do love about this four-way patch bay uh, module it's really awesome for instance on the other side of the pedal board so I don't know if you guys can see that very well but the way that I run it right now so I have a foot switch that runs to my amplifier I have an output that runs to my amplifier, and then I have an effects loop send and return. So any of my time-based effects, any of my reverb-based effects, I can route them to um, my amp without having you know a bunch of cables on top of the board, cables coming off pedals. It's all coming out of the side of my amplifier, and it's absolutely fantastic. One thing I will say I do not like about this design, and it's partly, well, mostly on my fault. So the power system that I'm using is the True Tone One Spot. Um, I love this power supply. It's great. It can power any pedal that I ever come across, um, and I can even change up, you know, the voltages and the milliamps and everything on there. So literally any pedal that I come across, most of the time it's going to be able to be powered with this. What I don't like though is underneath the board this power supply is too thick. Now, I can still place it under there in a spot where it's perfectly fine and I don't have my pedal board rocking back and forth with this underneath of it, but there's only like one or two good spots for it, okay? Um, and since you are somewhat limited with that IEC cable, as we can see, it is not very long, okay? So if I have it all the way over here, it's gonna be hard. So most of the time I mount it in this general area coming off the side. So, 
good things and bad things. I love the design. I love no Velcro. These quick lock um, fasteners here are great. Um, I love the different options for the modules on the side. Now, the two that I've shown you, those are just two of them. They have a plethora of other ones on any kind of retail that they, um, e online retailer or any retailer that carries Temple Audio products. There are so many. Um, I'll put links down below for everything uh, that I've got on this Temple Audio pedal board right now, along with the link for the pedal board itself. Um, one last little thing I'd like to shout out. Paranism, thank you for giving me this shirt. Uh, Paranism is another local band here in the Clarksville, Nashville area. I'll have their link down below too. Um, you guys want to check out a freaking awesome metal band? Check them out on Facebook, okay? Like I said, I'll have the links down below. Appreciate it, guys. Hit me up on the next video.